this the new luxury brand that Louis Vuitton and Hermes should be scared of? Beyonce seems to think so. Today, we're going to tell you everything you need to know about the hottest bag on the planet right now. We are talking about the Telfar, the Telfeezy, the Bushwick Birkin. First released in 2014, it is remarkable that in eight years, this bag has become the it bag. And according to list, this is the most wanted bag of 2020. First, we're going to talk about the man himself. Telfar Clemens is a Liberian American. He's from Queens, New York, and he founded Telfar in 2000. As a brand, Telfar embodies so much more than just being a fashion statement as it stands for inclusivity. The motto is not for you, for everyone. The inclusivity and the accessibility of Telfar creates a sense of belonging. This is completely different to typical luxury brands who use skyrocketing high prices and exclusivity to stay relevant. Let's talk about Beyonce. Telfar is Beyonce approved. In her latest album, Renaissance, she name drops Telfar in her song, Summer Renaissance, by saying, this Telfar bag imported, Birkins them it in storage. Which further supports my beginning statement that Telfar is coming for brands like Louis Vuitton and Hermes. Beyonce has been spotted on numerous occasions carrying Telfar bags herself. According to Vogue Business, after Beyonce name dropped Telfar, Google even reported a spike in Telfar searches which were higher than those for the Birkin. This was again reported by The Real Real, Fashion File and Rebag. Earlier I called this bag the Bushwick Birkin. This name came from makeup artist Zaya Rachel who in 2019 referred to the bag as Bushwick Birkin in a tweet. The nickname stuck. Why Bushwick Birkin? So Bushwick is a place in Brooklyn and this bag is extremely popular amongst Brooklynites. And Birkin, it's very difficult to get your hands on this bag. When they drop, they typically sell out in minutes. What else should you know about Telfar? They do some great collaborations. Here I'm holding a piece from the Telfar UGG collaboration of which they made so many bags, shoes and other pieces as well. They have also collaborated with Eastpac, Converse, White Castle and even Team Liberia. In the 2020 Olympics, Telfar Clemens was asked to create athletic wear and the uniform for Team Liberia. Now let's talk about the main event, the Telfar shopping tote. This is the it bag, the bag that made Telfar what it is today and the one that caught Beyonce's eye. This bag comes in 37 colours as of right now and I'm sure that number will go up. We have Dark Olive, Cerulean, which I think is from the Devil Wears Prada, Cobalt, Eggplant, Lavender, Corn Beef, can you believe there's actually a bag called Corn Beef, Chocolate, Mustard, let me know which one's your favourite down below as well please and if there's any names that surprised you. So the Telfar shopping tote comes in three different sizes, we have the small, the medium and the large. They are all the same shape and they all have the same TC logo on the front which if you didn't know it stands for Telfar Clements, the creator of Telfar and there are similarities in every single bag. They all come with the top handle strap and the long one as well. The long one however is not removable nor is it adjustable. There is also no hardware on the exterior of this bag. It is all just sewn together. Every single bag also has the button clasp to close it at the top. And if you didn't know, the Telfar label is actually a hidden pocket. Where the Telfar logo is, this opens. This is a very clever, unique design. Let me know in the comments what you would put in the hidden pocket and if you know what it was actually created for. On both the medium and the large bag, there is also an inner zip pocket. And on the large bag, there is as well a big pouch pocket on the side. The medium bag is a great size. This does fit a 13 inch laptop, as you can see here. My favorite size is probably the medium or the small. Depends where I'm going. Medium's a good work bag, small's a good day bag. Every single Telfar bag comes packaged like this. Around the bottom there is the band which keeps the shape of the Telfar bag and also on the straps they are tied together which means when you open it the straps are still quite curly and the bag still has the crease in the back. This is a deliberate design from Telfar in order to resemble an actual shopping bag. If you think about a shopping bag from Louis Vuitton, Gucci for example, 
They are boxy bags which fold. Telfar perfectly mimic this by putting the band on. It means that when you open your bag, there is still the crease along the back. If you want to get rid of this crease, you can just stuff the bag and leave it in there, but it will naturally go after using the bag for a little bit. Or if you do want to keep the crease, which some people do, you can again just store it flat. Let's talk about the material of the Telfar bag. Telfar call this a faux leather and other people call it a vegan leather. That's a glorified way of saying plastic. This bag is a polyester polyurethane blend, which is basically plastic. This means that the bag is water resistant, it's extremely flexible, it's lightweight, and it's the most realistic imitation of leather. That also means that it does wear and crease like real leather as well. Now let's talk about the durability of a Telfar bag. Obviously, this totally depends on how much you wear your bag. The first thing you will notice though is that you will lose your boxy shape the more you use and fill this bag. Obviously, the crease will go and as it is very flexible, the shape will not last more than a few years. The other thing you will notice, which you will notice with most bags to be honest, is damage to the corners and the piping of the bag. Obviously, as you put it down, picking it up, storing it away, you can damage the corners quite easily. Now, as I've just said, this bag is plastic, which leads me on to something that I do wanna talk about, which is the packaging of the bag. Telfar is classed as a luxury brand. And I think when you think of luxury, you think of boxes and pristine, beautiful packaging. Telfar doesn't come like that. So the band that comes around the bottom is this paper thin material. The straps are then secured in a Velcro fastening. However, on some bags, this is also paper. Next, you have the dust bag that it comes in. This is a drawstring. And next, I want to talk about this. With the number of bags that we know Telfar are producing and selling, we would think they would reduce plastic by at least using recyclable or compostable packaging here. And I think this is an area that Telfar can massively improve. I know they're an affordable brand, but there are ways to do this cheaply. Telfar, you can do better than this. Let's talk about the price. How much is the Telfar going to cost you? They are actually one of the most accessible and affordable luxury brands there is. Arguably, they could be the cheapest. On the US Telfar website, a small bag is $150, a medium bag is $202 and a large bag is $257. In another country, this price does go up, including in the EU due to customs, taxes and generally just an increase in the price. If you are buying a Telfar bag on resale, they're around £350, depending on the size, the colour and how popular the specific item that you want is. So where can you buy these Telfar bags? As I've just mentioned, you can buy the bags directly from the Telfar website. Telfar drops stock weekly. They rotate the colours and the sizes in and out of stock, so you just have to keep an eye out. On a drop day, however, you can only buy one colour of each size of each bag per drop day. Telfar do not have a store at all. However, in March 2022, Telfar himself did an interview where he said that there would be a flagship store coming this year in New York City. The other way that you can get hold of a Telfar bag is through the Telfar Bag Security Program. It's a limited time event. In 2021, the BSP was one day. In 2022, it lasted four from April 14th to April 18th. It's the opportunity for you to pre-order any size, any color, any quantity of a bag that you would like. The only con to this is that it can take six months to receive your item. This year, items bought in April can arrive between July and October. Therefore, you are waiting a very long time for your bag. If you don't want to wait for the drops, the restocks, and you want a Telfar bag right now, the best thing to do is to shop through resellers, just like us. Overall, are Telfar bags worth the money? First of all, it's an extremely affordable and accessible luxury bag for so many people. Secondly, the brand itself has such a brilliant message and it touches the hearts of so many people. It could also be classed as a timeless piece. Despite the bag being relatively new, it's very classic, it's very plain and simple, and the fact that it comes in a range of sizes and such a huge range of colours allows you to completely customise which bag you would like and therefore makes it a more timeless piece that I'm sure you will get a lot of wear out of. We 100% recommend Telfar and to be honest the only downside of the brand is the packaging in my opinion. Telfar is a genius to create such a unisex, inclusive and accessible brand in today's day and age 
is amazing and he is a true credit to the fashion industry. Don't forget to subscribe and turn all of our notifications on so that you don't miss any of our videos. We do post every single day and on a Tuesday you get a video like this from me. On a Thursday you get the weekly vlogs where you get to see life behind the scenes at Lux and then on a Sunday you get a video from Ben. Don't forget to leave a comment below answering all the things I've asked you in this video and we will see you again tomorrow. Bye!